North Korea started the year out with a test of new types of missiles. They're um, they're calling these hypersonic glide vehicles. You have a regular missile on top of that. You have this warhead, which will deploy and is supposed to glide and then hit its target and can move her along the way. There's some debate as to whether this is a hypersonic glide vehicle or a um, maneuverable re-entry vehicle. It's kind of a missile wonk talk, but the thing is that it can turn after being deployed and it makes it very difficult for US interceptors and other allied interceptors to shoot it down. So the US implemented sanctions um, with re, uh, after the missile launch on January 11th. These are with the individuals connected with North Korea's weapons programs. But the overall theme that the US, South Korea and the allies are trying to do is get Kim Jong-un to return to nuclear talks that have been stalled now for about three years. The thing is that uh, Kim Jong-un told a major party meeting he's much more interested in domestic issues of food shortage, preventing COVID, than getting back to the negotiation table. He said that he's going to continue developing his weapons and try to manage the economy and the pandemic. Um, and by the way, North Korea claims it has had no COVID cases and the claims are doubted um, in the outside world. Well, actually, very little. And uh, there, the international sanctions have been in place um, the latest round from 2017. They've squeezed the economy. The economy now is smaller than when Kim Jong-un Jong took power a decade ago. But this hasn't really stopped his uh, weapons program. I mean, they'll have difficulties in procuring some parts, but lots of the program are homegrown. So the sanctions have been there for a while, but Kim's found ways to get around these. Um, one of the ways that he does this is that he has an army of, uh, he has this cyber army that is very good at using international systems for cyber crimes, uh, phishing scams. We saw this a few years ago with the hack one Sony Pictures. This is uh, providing money for North Korea and they're finding other ways to get around the sanctions. So, and the pressure is there, but uh, Kim isn't responding and the moves are going forward with the uh, missile program and the nuclear program as well keeps going on, even though we're not seeing any demonstration of it in terms of tests. But the um, the production of fissile material, the stuff that goes into bombs, is proceeding and that has not stopped. In fact, it's been amplified in the past few months. 